Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the different foods that I ate that helped me to fight the nausea, the vomiting, the indigestion, and the constant spitting. If you guys want to know more about that, keep watching. I wanna start by talking about what morning sickness is for me. Because everyone has their own definition, I guess, for morning sickness. I used to think when I was little that morning sickness um, for pregnant women just means that in the morning they throw up a little bit and then they're fine and then it's as though they're not pregnant at all for the rest of the day and that just happens in the mornings <sighs> but now i know differently being on baby number three it has been very different um morning sickness for me is not morning sickness it's all day sickness and it's all nine months for me um so i am nauseous I do throw up several times a day, um, but the good thing, I guess, if there's anything good in it, the good thing about it is that towards the ninth month, I don't throw up as much. It'll be maybe just once a day towards the end or once a week <laughs> towards the last, you know, three weeks. But um, I do, I am nauseous and I am throwing up all throughout the entire pregnancy. And then also, um, I'm looking down because I have my little notes to share with you guys. Um, and then also, I salivate throughout the entire pregnancy. So I'm constantly, constantly spitting. It's like I just can't hold my saliva at all. And if I do tr try to um, swallow it, you guys, I'm going to throw up like everywhere <laughs> if I try to swallow my saliva. So it can be quite difficult but I, what I am going to say is it really is worth it it's part of the process so it is worth it so not only do I have the nausea the vomiting and the fact that I can't hold my saliva but I also have indigestion um sometimes it does kind of I think manifest the stuff like heartburn but I don't really have that much heartburn um I probably have heartburn like probably four times in a pregnancy, I guess. But I don't really have heartburn like that, but I do have indigestion, like I'm throwing up in my mouth type of thing. Or, I forgot what they call it. I don't wanna say the wrong name, but like when you throw up, like when you throw up in your mouth, but like it wakes you up from sleep. Almost like GERD, I think that's what they called it. But it's just, it's something you don't want, like, you know what I mean? But it is part of the process, like I was saying. So that does happen to me as, well so now that i kind of laid the foundation of what goes on in my nine months and um the whole nausea and vomiting things i'm going to tell you guys what i do to kind of help me no let me put the disclaimer in here right now no 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 um there is not anything that's going to make it go away completely they do have some medications that your doctor can give you but we all know those are like temporary fixes. As soon as the medicine wears out, you're back to square one. But um, I do know of a medicine called Zofran. I know a lot of females probably know about this too. <laughs> but Zofran, it does help. I'm not gonna lie, that does help. But it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself, do you wanna keep on taking it or do you wanna take any medicine at all? So yeah, keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and break this down into trimesters. So the first trimester to me is the very worst. And I hear that for most women anyway. Um, that's where you have your full blown morning sickness or all day sickness. Like that's where you're throwing up constantly. You can't hold anything down. You could barely even get out the bed. Like I know with my first son, I literally stayed in the bed and every time I would move, I would like throw up. Um, with second child, it was a little bit better. I, can, I was more mobile, of course. Um, third child, more mobile, but still the same thing. Throwing up can hold anything down. Um, just, uh, <laughs> that's how it felt like, just, uh, like 24 seven. Um, the things that I used for the first trimester that actually helped were, the first thing was gum. The second thing was any kind of hard candy. The third thing was like literally a tiny sip of water. Um, and that just helped me with the saliva. Since I couldn't swallow my own saliva, if I put water in my mouth, then it can go down. But it cannot go down by itself. 
So a sip of water, and I mean not a gulp. When I say sip, I mean a t the tiniest of sips. Um, and also, so one, two, three. I have four things. I'm sorry. And also, um, hard boiled eggs, and that was more so in the night. Um, that's what kept me through the night. Um, I know my husband will make the hard boiled eggs, and he'll put all kinds of seasoning salts and all kinds of salts on it. So salt is another one. Salt helps a little bit, but <laughs> I don't like to say that because, you know, salt is not too good for the body. But honestly, when you are pregnant, you're looking for any way out of that uh, feeling. You know what I mean? You're looking for any way out. So salt and seasoning salts is what we put on my eggs. And believe it or not, I was able to get the eggs down and it was able to hold me through the night. So I wasn't throwing up as much. So if I threw up like maybe four times with the hard boiled eggs, it'll cut it in half. So I'll throw up like two times or even sometimes one time. So the eggs really helped me through the night during the first trimester. And then at a certain point, I even started eating them during the day as well. So yeah, those are four things that can help you. I hope will help you in your first trimester. Okay. Moving on to the second trimester, I was able to try a lot more foods, but what I noticed like I noticed like that, I noticed real quick that I could not have any food that had a lot going on. So every food that I tried had to be plain. If it wasn't plain as fast as it was, you know, going down, it was as fast as it was coming up. Um, I did waffles. I continued with the hard boiled eggs. Um, towards the end of the second trimester, I did start to fry them. Um, I started, what else did I start? I did like fish with just a little bit of seasoning, just salt really and seasoning salt. Um, and I'll put them in like a taco. I did really plain things. I would eat burgers, but it couldn't have all the sauces and tomatoes, onions, and now it had to be plain burgers, like meat and bun type thing. Ketchup made me throw up, mustard, any condiment really made me throw up. So um, I really, really tried to make sure that I had things as plain as possible. Even when it came to syrup on waffles and stuff like that, I only used a little bit. Um, yeah, second trimester, anything that was plain worked the best for me. Like, yes, I would still throw up, of course, but I can at least keep it down. I can keep food down at this point. Um, it wouldn't come up as fast. <laughs> um, a lot of it would digest, so I think it wouldn't come up as fast. But if I would try to you know, eat anything that had a lot going on. I was coming up like I can't eat. I could barely even swallow it, to be honest. So, yeah, um, what I did notice was that during the second trimester, I could no longer use gum and candy. Um, any kind of hard candy will make me throw up any kind of gum. I couldn't even smell gum anymore. So I don't know what happened with that, because the first trimester that actually really worked for me. That contained me. Um, but by the time I entered my second trimester, I could no longer do any kind of gum, any kind of candy, and I couldn't be around people that were eating or um, eating candy or chewing gum at all. I continued to eat my boiled eggs, like I said, but I ended up increasing the amount. Um, I just needed more and more. I noticed that when my mouth was dry, which, you know, the, the eggs for some reason helped me keep a dry mouth, I noticed I did not vomit as much when my mouth was dry. Um, sometimes crackers work for some people. I know it helped me in my first pregnancy, but this pregnancy, it did not help me at all because the aftertaste of the cracker made me want to vomit, so I couldn't do crackers. But I know if you're looking for a dry mouth, that does help some women. Um, I increased boiled eggs, like I said, and I can sip by the second time, yeah, by the second trimester, I was able to sip a lot more water. Not a lot, a lot, like maybe a gulp. <laughs> Before it was a tiny sip. And then by the second trimester, I could take at least a gulp of water. And that really helped me. But I did notice that soda was a complete no-no. Um, I know for my second child, I had a whole lot of Coke, which is not good at all. But it worked for me. So I thought that, you know, coming into this pregnancy that... Um, I could do soda, I could do Coke, epic fail. Um, I just, like when I would drink Coke, 
I'll be done for the entire day. Like there's no getting out the bed. Um, there's no eating much because after I drink Coke, no food, like any anything that I would try to put down, any food item I'll try to put down will come up immediately. So that didn't work for me either, no soda, but I was able to drink more water. So for me, that was a plus. So by the third trimester, I was getting kind of excited. I was finding, you know, more options. Um, I was still very bored with food because my main food was either waffles, plain tilapia fish in a wrap and what was the other one? And boiled eggs. <laughs> so I was kind of bored. Oh, excuse me. I was kind of bored with the food, but it worked. So by the third trimester, like I said, I was kind of getting more excited because I found um, some new things. I added spaghetti to my diet and I also added beef jerky. Beef jerky, oh my gosh, God. Guys, like, <laughs> you guys would not believe this, but my biggest craving, like I'm not one of those people who has cravings for one, but um, my biggest craving it sounds really bad, but rubber, <laughs> rubber and anything smoky, smoke and rusted, like, like not rusted, oh no, but like roasted, I'm sorry, <laughs> roasted, like anything that was roasted, smoke smelling and rubber smelling. So in my mind, I was like, oh my God, where are we going to find that? Like, come on. <laughs> I like walking through aisles with like rubber <laughs> in it. I like to smell tires, but like, where can I find food that tastes like this? And then all of a sudden I asked my husband to um, get me beef jerky. We tried, no, we tried, um, what's the name of the other one? Oh, I forgot the name of it. We tried Slim Jim. I haven't tried it in my last pregnancy too but it just didn't give me the taste I was looking for. I thought that would be it. And then I tried different kinds of ribs. Um, the ribs in Richmond hand me, oh my gosh. The ribs in Richmond, hands down, was the best ribs I've ever tasted in my entire life. And honestly, it quenched that, the thirst I had, you guys, or the craving that I had, it quenched it. But I can't keep going to Richmond like every single day to get this. And it was really, really expensive. So we ended up finding beef jerky. And believe it or not, beef jerky has seen me through. <laughs> it has really seen me through. Um, if I want to do anything, if I want to record for you guys, I'm able to eat beef jerky and feel better. If I want to go out the house or do something, I eat my beef jerky and I'm able to do that. So that's one craving I can say I feel like it helped save me at the end. <laughs> I really feel like it helped save me. I don't know how it's gonna be for you guys, but I would say try beef jerky. Like, look, I wanna advocate for them. <laughs> try beef jerky, guys. Like, I'm so serious. Try beef jerky um, if you're experiencing nausea. And tell me if that works for you. Comment below. Let me know how that works for you, ladies. Um, so yeah, sorry to go off on that tangent, but, um, Third trimester, beef jerky, um, spaghetti, and more water. Like you guys, I would be able to drink like that much water at a time without throwing up or feeling sick. So more water. And we added Izzy's, like the um, natural drink. It's bubbly. So that worked for me that, oh my gosh, like if I would drink... Uh, um, bottle like an Izzy in the morning with like some um, cookies like I'll be satisfied and I won't throw up or anything like that at all but this is third trimester we're talking about so um, Izzy's really worked for me Izzy's and water um, like I said the spaghetti and we started frying eggs <laughs> fried eggs and waffles so literally my entire third trimester I didn't eat anything but beef jerky, spaghetti, fried eggs, waffles, drank water, drank my Izzy, and that was it. Um, by that time, I decided what's the point in trying new foods, you know, what's the point? I found something that's working for me and it's sustaining me whereas I'm throwing up a boatload less, like I'm throwing up once a week, twice a week, you know. Um, 
you know, just last once a day, that type of thing. Whereas I was throwing up what felt like 24 seven before. So you guys find what works for you. Try some of these things that I've tried. Let me know if it worked for you, if it works for you. Um, and I just hope that you guys hang in there. No, it's not easy, but it's part of the process. Embrace it, look for what works for you and just try to, <laughs> try to really hang in there. Like. I don't really know what to say because I know it's not the easiest, but I just want to continue to encourage okay. you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe and make sure you share. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, if you live to love, you would love to live. Bye guys.